Mm-hmm. Let's just hope no squirrels are falling out of a tree and have a head injury laying helpless on the ground because it's not good. So this dog, if you said this dog is not looking for something to send it into a higher gear actually than that, no, that's exactly what he's looking for. Anything that can take him to the next level. He's already going fast. If you said, you mean he'd go faster? Oh, absolutely. If that's what it took to catch the squirrel or the whatever. You think that son of a gun doesn't have a higher gear than that? I can assure you that he does. So if your only job is being the antidote to go, your job is keep pulling it back with a prong collar on heel, wait until it's standing around in a stupor and trying to pull it with a long line, you're failing. You're failing. And if you said, when am I going to discover? As soon as it goes into drive, you've got to train the dog in drive. It's not going to work otherwise. Yay. He's not going to come near me unless, you know, he understands I've got, I'm all about that. I'm not going to say don't do any of that. I'm going to say I'm going to need to go faster than that. So that's what I've got. There, there's so much more to it than what we understand now. I need to get a hold of Phyllis and talk to her about it. But it's more than, I saw somebody using the pager. Mike, I gotta go find it because I put a comment on there. They look miserable. They were trying to oh geez, use the pager. If you said what's that? That's his free agency. That's how he acts. He runs, he jumps, he's full of joy. If his obedience was not that too. Anyway, they were making these dogs sit and stay. All this making these dogs sit and stay and going in their place and all this garbage is all gonna go to hell the second this dog goes in to drive and you're going to be a character that does not exist in that scene. So, then you saw that. He, he, he was ready to go somewhere when he heard that noise. Oh, jeez. He's all about big and fast. Oh, don't you steal from Mama. And you said that wasn't big, that wasn't big and fast. See it. I hope that was in the shot. Okay, good, that was huge air. I, I just did that because he was so, I was bordering on losing control. So I do have that stationary I can put on him. And I almost never, ever, ever, ever do a stationary and have the dog come to the front of the handler. But I can do it here. So it was not a silent recall at all. Oh, he sees it, he sees it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm gonna tell you what, there's two problems with this squirrel. Oh, there's one main problem. It's a juvenile and it does not understand it's living its carefree, happy life. It, it doesn't know Hurricane Fedeek is, is right over here, ready to make landfall on its back <laughs> while it's running along, getting its little... Oh, it's this thing is thinking I landed in Utopia. I've got all these trees. I've got this palm nuts just hanging out of... The date palms hanging out of the trees like, you know, there's no tomorrow. So i got to be careful putting anything out with all this stuff around. But you can see, if you said this dog has very lackadaisical... Lackadaisical? There's nothing lackadaisical about the dog. He does not believe. He understands. If you said, well, do a correction, that would be so effing... Oh, there he is right there. Thank God you made it through the storm, Rocky. Yeah, he's a juvenile, though. He's dumb.
because I'm not that good at teaching a remote sit. If you said, how would you do it? If you were tasked with doing it, me, I would do it with a series of platforms. <laughs> kind of like I did that dog, Remy, so that I could send the dog from there. Hi, Monique. Hi, Mike. I could send the dog from there, but you, you know, we need to write that down too. If you're not training the dog in drive, you're going to suffer catastrophic method failure, and I can tell you exactly when. As soon as the dog goes into drive, and I can tell you the exact moment you're going to you're going to fail. The moment it goes into drive, and if you said when's that going to be? Oh, the least convenient effing time you could ever imagine. That's when it's going to do it. He's got a really nice. If you said why does he sit like that? He is expecting to go out of there fast. He's not going to walk out of there. He threw that in. I don't know if you saw that. Sit. I don't know what's taking George so long. He does, I'm sure has no electricity at his house. At least I got snacks and shit here. So that wasn't a silent send away. And if you said, what would the difference be? To get it. That was, bring it. That was, bring it to me. Bring me his head on a stick. If you said the only advantage that pager is giving you is the ability to sync up your arm with your send away. Let's say you effing got me. You effing got me. And he said, I don't like his deliver. It's crappy and slow. Crappy and slow? <laughs> oh, am awful. He said, what was that? Him stealing the whole bag of treats. Oh, shoe bottom. Just, I just got, I just filled up a whole bag with treats. It's, it's a little dark in the house, so I'm trying to stumble around and see. And let's set the bag down for two seconds. I suddenly notice a smacking sound. I suddenly notice shoe bottom got the whole bag and it's ate most of it. So nothing I could do. I think you guys can see the difference though. It is going to be a faster speed. And if you said so, if you train and drive, not in drive is going to be a cinch. Oh, for sure. If you're trained in drive, you're not going to have to do anything when this dog isn't in drive. It's just gonna follow you around. If you're the designated driver, oh no, not designated, de you're a designated driver. Right, let me do it one more time. And, I, I, and I'm telling you, I'm making a note to myself that I always send the dog the same way, that I'm making a terrible bias for this dog to only go one direction. It'll come back to haunt me. If you said, how can I help myself? I can switch the handler up. I just put the handler on the other side. So anyway, if you said, that's not a very good train to retrieve. Not a very good train to retrieve. It is a good train to retrieve. And if you said, how could you add to that? Obviously, I could put four of them there, probably five or six, and keep that I haven't been maintaining. I've only been maintaining it as a simple exercise rather than trying to come out here and try to show you, oh, here's a, you know, here's a complex exercise after I haven't been practicing or all these things. You said you couldn't string that together. I could, I could. And you've all got to get a platform just for the sake. I know that water looks awful, but they like drinking out of the ditch anyway. I saw them up at the corner yesterday. I actually thought they'd have it back on. It's not like all these lines are down that I can see. Uh, two people got electrocuted, though, in Winter Park. That's where most of my clients are. 
Yeah, they got electrocuted. One woman walking her dog. Pray to God, and I didn't get that one. The other guy was some guy went out of his house, and there was, I guess, I don't know, I guess the lines are in the water or whatever. They just step in the water, and that's it. Uh, let me see if I can do a sit in motion with this dog using that platform. You've got to be moving at that speed. If you're moving slower than that, now watch him. I want you to watch him. He's going to look at the squirrel and just, he can't help himself. If you said, tell him no, no, no. This is mean hobby. It's like someone telling me don't train dogs. You better make your, you better make your hand off faster with this dog. You want to move a little. You're gonna let me tell him which way to go. He said, how did I know that? Just the way he was moving around, just the way he was moving around. Anyway, that, that's my theory. I'm gonna show this to Mark, but you know, certainly field trial dogs and stuff, the handlers, the designated detonator there. And if you're doing it right, you're not saying, go on, go get it. You're saying, bring it to me. Fetch it up, you know, there's, and Mark will tell you there's a difference between going, go on, go get it, then bring it. Bring me his head on a stick. <laughs> Not ask that man to come, I need to talk to him. Bring me his head on a stick. All right, guys, hang on, I'll be right back.